Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get OBS looking like this. So in this video, I'm going to be using two recorders, and I'm going to show you guys how to make this look like this, and how to set up OBS Studio, because a lot of you guys have been asking me, hey Josh, how do you set up this and that, and I'm going to be going over this video. So make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think in the comments, and yeah, let's get right into it. So as you can probably see, right over here, we have OBS Studio up. I'm gonna bring it all the way open so I'm gonna be creating a new scene so we're gonna go and create a scene it will look like this you can create this scene zero scene one you can do that okay you just go and create that it will look like this when you open up OBS studio so if it's the first time that you're using OBS studio this will be perfect for you so we're gonna be going over the settings and all the stuff that you need for it to be really smooth so we're gonna start off in general so don't touch anything here, you don't need anything touched here, it's already set up for you. You're gonna go in stream. So what you're gonna need is stream key. So if you're streaming or making a video, you can make videos and you don't need a stream key, you just don't need a stream key. But you can get a stream key from your YouTube dashboard. Obviously do not show anyone your stream key. This gives them full access to stream to your channel if you're a streamer. And obviously that's not really good because it, it, it doesn't help you in any way if someone else is streaming to your channel. So yeah, don't give this away to anyone. Next thing you're going to do is go into output. So I have an example here. So this is 6000 kbps. That is your bitrate. So bitrate is very important when you're streaming. It's what makes your stream or video look really nice and smooth. Really cool and really good overall. If you go and set this to like 50k, let's just put it to 50, 50,000. Obviously, that's not going to be good of what internet. So, what I'm going to need you guys to do is go over to speedtest.net. So, once you're over here on speedtest.net, um, you're just gonna press go now. There's gonna be black um, lines on the screen or just all of that blurred out because I don't want you to see my IP address So I have gigabit internet. It may vary on where you live. This is as fast as my other internet goes I have a lot of internet connections. I'm not using Ethernet right now. I usually use Ethernet that is fast as if it's right next to your um, modem so it, it varies so if you have a 30 upload speed that means you can stream at 30,000 bit rate if you have a hundred upload speed you can pretty much stream at a hundred thousand but I don't recommend it and here's why now obviously if you have a hundred thousand upload speed or a hundred if you have a hundred upload speed and you set it to a hundred thousand let's just put it there that is gonna be very very bad so obviously you have viewers when you stream. Viewers vary on what kind of devices they have, internet. So most of the time, when you have viewers that can't or don't have fast internet, they can't watch your stream if it's that much bitrate. So kind of try and keep a balance between bitrate and your quality. Because obviously bitrate and quality is two different things. Bitrate is basically how fast your internet is and how clear your stream will be. Quality is what your stream looks like. So we're gonna go and set that for this video, 6,000, okay? 6,000 is a good bit rate. Set it to 6,000 right there as you see, and hit apply. And then after that, you're gonna go over here. So I stream at hardware NVENC. This may vary on your computer, like I said, if you do not have an NVENC graphics card, you cannot do this. Just go to X264. It's the fastest. It, it uses your CPU though. If you don't want to use your CPU and you want to use your graphics card, go to NVNC and it helps you out. Now, don't press anything else here. You can put re recording format. I record in MP4. And yeah, just hit apply and let's move on. Now, we're in here in audio. You don't really touch anything just for your microphone, like what microphone you want to put. And you know, just hit apply. Okay. And then move on. Okay, so we're over here in video. 
So we're in canvas resolution. So canvas resolution is how much you want it to be. It really varies on what you want to have for your canvas resolution. You can have it for anything. 1980 is 10, 1920 by 1080 is really good, but it varies on your computer, like I said. And I stream at 1920 by 1080. It may vary on your computer because some people can't stream at that. It's very tough on your computer. Now, we're over here at the FPS, common FPS values. So you're going to want to put it at the amount your computer can handle. Now, obviously, my computer is a really good computer. It can handle up to 60 FPS or more. And I stream at 60 FPS and record at 60 FPS. It makes, it makes your recording and stream look really good so once you're done with that just set that and all the stuff that you need you also need to be at speedtest.net for this but you've already done that probably if you're following the steps make sure to follow the steps bit by bit and then you can press apply once you're done here and then hockeys i don't really have much hockeys if you have a stream deck you can set that up it will be there so then just hit apply okay and now we can get into the scenes so if you want to have game capture or display capture here you can go and pick display capture this will capture your screen so if you want to only capture your game you can also go over here you can add game capture and then you can do that Okay, I highly recommend game capture, but screen capture is also really good for when you're just streaming and you want to like Among Us or something like that. It's, it's really good. So I recommend having only one of these. Like if you're going to do game capture, then have game capture only. If you're going to do screen capture, have screen capture only. Now, once you have this looking like this, you can go up here and choose a bunch of customizations. You can go to text. GDI, you can put like blah 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 on the screen. I'll put that blah blah blah. You can do that, or you know, you can do anything. You can resize it, put your face cam if you want a face cam. That is video capture device, which I'm not going to do that right now because I have my video already being used. If you have multiple cameras, you can also set that up. You can set anything you up, anything you want here. But that's pretty much all I wanted to say for this video. I you can fig you probably can figure out the rest. It's pretty easy. You just go and add this and go if you want to add like browser stuff, you can go to your Streamlabs and add that. So that's basically it. So once you're done with that, it should look like this. You can see the game capture. You can see everything pretty much. And yes, it looks clean and fresh like that. And you can see everything. So that's what you want it to look like when you're doing that. And yeah. That's pretty much the end of this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial on how to make your screen capture and all your settings. So make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel and this helped you out. Please subscribe. I do a lot of tutorials and daily videos. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for much watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Board in the house and I'm in the house, boy. Board, board in the house and I'm in the house, boy. Board, board in the motherfucker in the house, boy. Board, board in the motherfucker in the house, boy. Board in the house and I'm in the house, boy. Board, board in the house.